devil are you? I'm getting lots of people asking me about blowers, what they can use and where they can get them. The one that's driving the uh, burner that you're looking at costs me 20 bucks, so I'm going to tell you all about it and where to get one. Something I get asked a lot about with regard to burners is blowers. It's very easy to find the larger blowers I find. You can use uh, things like jumping castle blowers, carpet dryers or the, the leaf type blowers for the garden. For something a bit smaller for those who don't want radical output, it can be a little bit more difficult. What I found here is a marine bilge blower. Now these are actually designed for putting in your, your boat, the, uh, the larger types, and they ventilate the, the hull, cabins, things like that. They're readily available at uh, marine supply shops. This one costs me uh, $20. It is rated, uh, there are some specifications. It's uh, just in case you can't see it. There is a 12 and a 24 volt model and there's a 90 and a 130 cubic foot a minute model. I've got the 90. Uh, the amp drawer on the thing is three amps, which is uh, quite reasonable and of course half of that at 24 volt. The 130 CFM is rated at 5 amps and of course you might be able to see on the box it's made in Taiwan. Where else? They come with a, uh, a mounting which is actually designed for uh, mounting on a wall. They've got like uh, a screw type fittings where you would put a, uh, a wide head screw and then uh, attach that to a bulkhead or whatever. The main thing is they're, uh, they're readily available. There's a few different models it shows you there and you should be able to pick them up from any marine place. This one's a TMC which is a cheaper brand. There's probably a lot of brands you know available where you're watching this that, that aren't available here and vice versa. Now I have done some testing with this already and for you know medium size output it, uh, it seems to work quite well. So I'll uh, show you it in practice on one of the burners. And here's the machine in question. It's uh, got a plastic housing, an inlet, and I've just uh, taped over the flange fitting. I have seen uh, flange fittings that, that taper them back to a spigot like you can see there on the uh, input, but the marine place that I went to didn't have any at the time, so of course I've just duct taped it up. This one is a 12 volt, but I'm using it on actually an old laptop power supply, which is 16 volt, which uh, gives it a little bit more spin and pressure. And 16 volt is not really over the top for its operating range. That would no doubt sag once a thing got going. And in any uh, battery type environment with an alternator or something, you'd want to be seeing very close to 15 volts, uh, or if not more anyway. I've run this thing probably Probably for about an hour an hour it didn't seem to get particularly hot and it uh, it works quite well now you might be able to hear that one running uh, it is very quiet you couldn't disturb anybody with that I dare say that the actual output of the burner will make a lot more noise than what the, the blower does so um, pretty good in that respect and the air output is uh, sufficient that you get quite a good flame out of it, enough heat and I think it would be enough to satisfy most normal requirements. Let's fire it up and see how it goes. I'm constantly bored, uh, I mean reminded by uh, all the safety uh, concerned people about you know the dangers of what I do and wearing PPE and all that so um, to keep everybody happy I'm actually doing this remote control from five miles away in a bomb proof bunker uh, I still have a bomb proof suit on, a flame proof suit, a crash helmet, of course gloves, breathing apparatus and I have an emergency crew standing by with an airlift chopper at the waiting just in case it all goes wrong. So I'm going to fire this up in real time to show you how it goes and uh, how easy these things are to light. 
So first thing I'm going to do is put in an amount of um, of some old fuel that came out of the, the tank of my bike actually. I'll just light that off and get it going. It's always a trick light in the newspaper for these. Just chuck it in, Geronimo. Most people would agree this is a uh, pretty decent burner. Uh, once again, the old safety tip: you certainly wouldn't want to be sitting on it. But I'm, you know, getting a bit uh, worried about these safety tips because I think they're interfering with the process of natural selection. So we might just have to have another review on that. Anyway, these uh, blowers can be picked up at marine supply places and there's also lots of them on the internet. There's also inline type blowers. I don't know about them. I haven't tested one. I can only tell you, you know, about this one, which uh, I've shown you running. I will uh, probably do another video with this in one of the other 
uh, type burners to show you how it goes with that. This is actually neck down a lot. I'm only using about a one and three quarter inch pipe on it when the actual output of the blower itself is three inches. So I had imagined there is a lot more output that could be gained if you needed it just by going up to a, uh, a pipe size into the burner that was less restrictive. Hopefully that helps a few of you out. Um, have a look uh, on eBay or your local marine place for these, uh, these blowers. Now while this isn't the most powerful burner I've ever bought to you on my channel, you wouldn't want to go doing anything stupid like trying to use it as a hairdryer. It would take a, uh, a lot of uh, LPG or propane as you Americans call it to keep up with the output of this thing if you were using it in a furnace or as a heater. And again, we're running it off a simple cheap $20 blower. Uh, again, I've got the little plug pack on it. I've just uh, taped it to that three inch bit of PVC and I've necked it down with some uh, rubber fittings from there. And as you can see, it's quite a decent little burner right there. I think that would uh, have enough output to keep most people very happy and you also saw how easy the thing is to light up and get going. No trouble at all. Now if you're one of those weirdo little safety zealots that likes to run around and complain about everything, you might be interested in this. I've got a bit of steel rod in there, so if uh, you're probably into that BD, S&M, whatever kinky stuff, you might even like this. Have a look at what you can do with it. running nice and low here's a, uh, a very rare shot of the inside of a burner and what the flame does as you can see it's just blowing mainly out to the sides uh, there is some vaporization of the oil as it hits that plate and comes out due to the preheating of the uh, air tube but uh, that gives you a bit of a look inside. Normally you won't see that because it's cranked up and there's way too much flame to get near it, even if you could see inside it. The other thing you might notice with this is it doesn't have any build-up. It runs really nice and clean. I never have to clean these burners no matter how much oil that I do put through them, unlike other designs. I think that's due to the uh, air turbulence and the fact that they do run pretty hot and always burn with an excess of air so they burn very clean as well. I said this one only costs me 20 bucks I have seen them range in price and you can get bigger ones so thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like and most of all have a look at my other videos just click on the uh, oil burner name there that'll take you to the directory I get a lot of people asking me about things that I've covered or already shown so I've got lots of videos have a look through them and see what else you like thanks again for watching